from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, the showers diminished pretty quickly this afternoon. Didn't turn out to be a bad end to our Friday and for the week, which was eventful once again. Most of the action on Tuesday when we had that very heavy rain and the funnel cloud that touched down as a brief tornado in Newburgh. But we also had five consecutive days with highs in the 70s. And we haven't done that probably at all this spring. It's really been up or down. But this week was pretty close to normal, including today. Our highs generally in the mid to upper 70s area wide. And tomorrow will be a little warmer and then even warmer yet for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday before the next cold front arrives. And that will be Wednesday of next week. So live Doppler radar, just false returns around the radar site after the sunset. The last of those spotty showers faded away. Everybody, or just about everybody, got at least a tenth of an inch. The exception is where you don't see the blue shades up here in parts of Wayne, Edwards, and Wabash counties in Illinois. And in Evansville, we picked up about two tenths of an inch of rain. Most areas below an inch, but a few did top the one inch mark, at least estimated by our first warning Doppler system, especially down here on the Ohio Butler County line. You see these shades of green. That's about an inch of rain. Also an inch there northeast of Owensboro, right along the Ohio River, uh, just across from uh, Rockport there, where they had some heavy downpours earlier this morning. And there's the rain falling in Evansville this morning, and then that rain let up. Cloudy for a while, and then the sun came out to this afternoon, and it was a nice end to our Friday, and not all that warm and not too humid either. Pretty sunset across the area. We had a rainbow and a sun dog out there. Posted both of those on my Facebook page uh, this evening. 69 is the current temperature. The winds are calm. Skies are clearing. The ground is wet in many cases. So ingredients are there for some fog to develop overnight that could be dense in a few locations. But temperatures right now, mid to upper 60s, will be falling back into the low 60s by daybreak tomorrow morning. And on Storm Tracker, a lot of the clouds have cleared on out. The rain is exiting far eastern Kentucky, but we're still on the back edge of this system. There's still some low-level moisture here through the lower Ohio Valley that will be enough to generate at least some scattered clouds tomorrow and maybe a few showers and thunder showers. Not expecting a lot of coverage, but Future Tracker showing that fog developing overnight. And that will give way to a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. And our model continues to be really dry. Did a good job today, and so it's really not indicating much rain at all tomorrow, which will be a little bit warmer. Highs generally 79 to 84 across the area, forecasting 82 in the Evansville metro. And then mainly clear tomorrow night on the mild side will fall through the 70s during the evening, mid 60s by daybreak on Sunday, which will be even sunnier and even warmer with high temperatures on Sunday afternoon into the mid to upper 80s. And it gets even warmer early next week with more sunshine on Monday. We'll begin to pick up some clouds in the afternoon. Highs Monday afternoon in the upper 80s. And then we'll make a run at our first 90 degree day of the year on Tuesday. But here's your overnight forecast. Variable clouds, a little fog developing, could be dense in some locations, a mild 61 to 65. And then tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, just a few showers and thunder showers developing. Much of the area stays dry, 79 to 84 for the high. Partly cloudy and warmer on Sunday, we're up to 87. Partly cloudy Monday, 88. Mix of sun and clouds Tuesday, 90 degrees. We will be dry during the day. And then a weakening line of storms looks to come in from the west late Tuesday night, pre-dawn hours on Wednesday. Could be a marginal level one threat left over with those storms as they move on in. Those will dissipate early Wednesday, but we may see more redevelop Wednesday afternoon. Maybe a severe threat there. Way too early to tell with any certainty, but we will put the weather aware tag up simply for an 80% chance for showers and thunderstorms mixed with a little bit of sun on Wednesday and maybe, just maybe, a severe weather threat. Those diminish Wednesday night. Temperatures come down a little bit as the rain ends early Thursday and then maybe a few more thunder showers developing next Friday afternoon. All right. Thank you, Wayne.